Yo, it's your girl Henny Chris and you're watching Dank TV. You can't keep me out of this bitch. It's your boy Cool Dre from around the way. Here to steal your bait and I'm here rolling with Dank TV. My name is Young Chad and we watch the Dank TV. Hey man, y'all know what the fuck it is. It's your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions. It's the Dank Daddy from the Dank TV, man. It's thunderstorm, daddy. We in hurricane season and shit. And I'm with my nigga. And I'm gonna let you introduce yourself just in case I don't do it correctly. Yo, my name is Joe Michael. Nice to meet y'all. That's it. Gang shit. What's up? Yeah, yeah. So prior to this interview, you said you had a lot to talk about with, to the people about mental health and all of that. So I'm gonna let you expand on that a little bit in the middle of this hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Interviews during the hurricane, y'all. Yo, I just want to say before I even start this shit, this nigga's cool as fuck. Appreciate you, brother. I appreciate a human being that's bringing you good content and quality shit. Mm -hmm. But the conversation that I wanted to get into was mental health because we don't speak about it, especially in this age where everybody shows off their best side all the time. And we forget to form like an actual relationship with other human beings in a deep, meaningful way. Um, I wanted to speak about what type of company do you keep yourself around yourself? If that's like whatever you're watching, whatever you're paying attention to, whatever you're listening to, whatever company you keep around you to like make wise decision about what you keep around you all the time. Because we fail to be happy because we want to fulfill other, other, other human beings dreams. Alright, so do you feel like people feel like they need other people around them to make them happy? Yes, I feel like as human beings, we were created to be in a family environment. And we failed to make a tribe environment. Because as human beings, I believe that we're supposed to be in a group of people about 150 deep. That's my group. Safety, of people, safety, that's my safety. tribe because since back in the days we were formed to be a tribe, like tribe uh, individuals. I just watch these plugs, man, so that you know the know, life of a hundred people. Other, first and before Instagram, exactly, you knew, like, let's say before ancient times, before you even had a house and everything, you, feel me? Shit like this, man, you knew your life, neighbors, you, know you knew your your neighbors, <laughs> your whole life, you knew you threw on the people that actually know them and shit. But hey, all love and shit, it's raining like a motherfucker, so we out. talking about mental health and all of that so i'm just gonna let you keep talking on about that okay okay because you know we was almost swept away by this hurricane so i'm gonna let you speak there. okay come on, come on, come on over. Uh, i sort of forgot where we left off but i have one advice just make sure you have a healthy company at all times when you're by yourself Try Look, to clean out your circle, said, to wherever park. you are. We'll give just you all the cash app information, so if you want to donate, focus to on who you are as an individual you and clean out your energy. Again, we also got opposite lanes. If you're looking for some cool Make apparel, sure some nice shirts, that the people, custom, you ain't gonna the find time, the store. and the things that you do are in a so healthy manner. Come and support the men. Hey, no matter if they're bad the things, thing just make pick. sure you do the bad things what the right way. What's the special for today? Keep healthy. My man said the what are some threat. of the, what are some of the ways that people can detox themselves? You know, clean out uh -huh. all that toxicity. And please and don't all forget, that. we got uh, Mr. You know any ways you can share with the people about the Thinky Cat? Mr. Thinky Cat. For me, what works for me is I take time in the morning, at least an hour or two, to focus my mind and concentrate what plans I have for the day and what I need. My goals are for the future. Just keeping my mind focused on close items on micro things that I can solve during the day and planning for the macro, the bigger things in life, keeps me focused and balanced when it comes to a life balance. And I also make sure that I intake the food that benefits me the most. So are you a vegan? That's your lifestyle? Are you a vegan? No, but I consume very healthy food. I make sure what I can. I smoke weed. I can smoke a cigarette, and you find me eating a fruit bowl later. 
but you won't find me eating anything unhealthy or that contains too much oil because your body seems to reject that. So I stay away from a lot of oily food. Um, I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of oils, uh, uh, fluids. So do you feel like smoking weed is a healthy thing for your mental or is it a bad thing? I feel like as a community we haven't spoke that at all, but I feel like weed benefit, benefits the mind because as all humans, even though we're interacting with each other in a public space or a space that's 3D and visible, I think pub, humans naturally just live in the brain. And I feel like weed gives you a chance to clear some of the smoke away that you have in your brain and give you a clear view when you're searching for something or a goal or whatever. I don't really necessarily smoke weed because of my health problems, but I noticed when I smoked weed, I was more, I was less active. You know, I was sleeping more instead of being more active. They took energy instead of giving energy. So what do you say to all those people out there that weed affects them in that type of way I think people that weed affects in that type of way it's because of habit weed is is gonna make you whatever you are at the moment ten times so if you have habits that make you go to sleep or that make you procrastinate weed is gonna make that habit ten times more but if you clean out your habit and you have positive healthy habits we just gonna make that 10 times more oh, okay, okay, okay. so it's just augmenting your reality to what's really happening around you if you have a toxic environment you're gonna be toxic yeah, so more so you're gonna be even more lazier or more procrastinative because you have more time to do that now we just slows down time it gives you more time i feel like we're all fighting for time and we pretend like we're fighting for money but all that we want is time so do you think we can have an effect on somebody that's really active? Can it eventually slow them down as more they consume? Like, will it eventually slow them down? Or you think that it'll keep... If they're living a healthy, positive lifestyle, like as you say, we heightens the sense of 10 times more. So a person that smokes weed lives a healthy lifestyle very energetic, wakes up every morning. Do you think consuming a lot more of that would eventually turn, will do like a 180 in the lifestyle? And like I said, it all depends on the habits that you create. If you create a healthy habit, where you create a healthy lifestyle and you still smoke weed, obviously you're gonna consume more weed because your body's gonna get used to it, right? But you can still create a healthy lifestyle as well because I used to go to the gym and smoke weed afterwards because it will increase in my recovery time will slow will increase extremely instead of being sore for one for two three days i'm sore for one day and i'm still working out so it alleviates pain like really strong like i'm fit i said weed smoking and i smoke every day so, what do you have to say to the people out there that use weed as a gateway drug to escape all of their problems and stuff like that? I say to those people to sit down with family members or friends to figure out what's wrong in their life and what they're doing because people that are addicted like that to marijuana are the same people that are addicted to sugar or any other intake that makes you feel full. Sweet food, candy, makes human beings feel full and enjoyable. Food, the same thing. That's why people eat a lot of McDonald's because it makes them, it's cheap and it makes them feel full. So it just really... Uh, it's all about the individual and finding out who you are and the goals that you want. Set goals for days, plan your life out. Most of us want to live the movie. We're living the movie. This is my fucking movie, right? It's a movie. I can pull up. I just made a movie. That's it. Just make a movie out of your life. Enjoy that fuck out of that bitch. Flex. It's a movie for real.
And yeah. yeah. So, um, where can the people find you at on social media? Where can Yo, the people everybody follow me on all my social media. It's called Joe Michael. J H O M I C H A E L. Uh, the DJ on the ones and twos. You got something to say to the people? You got a little something to say. Everybody be good. Everybody do what you love. Here we are. Next time, y'all better pull up. Oh, yeah. For real. So, what do you got to say to your haters? Fuck you. I love you. <laughs> what do you got to say to everybody that's supporting you out there? I fucking love you even more. That's some fucking real nigga shit. So, is there anything more that you want to add on to everything you just said as far as smoking weed, mental health, and that you feel like that'll help people better themselves in their everyday life? Listen, fuck your mom, fuck your dad, fuck your best friend. It's all about you. Fuck your little sister, fuck your little brother, fuck everybody, nigga. It's all about you. Flex. That's it. Make sure you take care of yourself.